So neuronal isoptica is an inflammatory demyelinating central nervous system disorder that uh, predominantly affects the optic nerves and spinal cord, but it can also affect uh, the brain. Um, it's, uh, in the past, it was uh, commonly misdiagnosed as multiple sclerosis, and in fact, in Asia, it accounts for approximately 30% of uh, MS. In that country, it was called optic spinal MS. In um, 2004, there was a publication in uh, Lancet um, from the Mayo Clinic, from our group, um, led by Dr. Van der Lennen, and it relates to the discovery of a uh, antibody that targets a water channel on astrocytes. And uh, this antibody is a biomarker um, for the disease. And this has resulted in a seismic shift in the way we think about inflammatory demyelinating diseases and allowed us to distinguish this disease from multiple cirrhosis. I think it's important to realize that there's actually no biomarker for multiple cirrhosis. So the discovery of an antibody that's sensitive and specific for a disease that previously had been considered under the auspices of multiple cirrhosis really has been a dramatic change in, the, in, in this whole scientific environment. And not only that, but more recently, another antibody has been uh, recognized as being very, very significant and, and potentially a very helpful biomarker in the laboratory uh, to investigate patients with these types of diseases, and that's antibodies to MOG or myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein. But let's talk about NMO. Um, uh, previously, NMO was considered a very rare disease, and it is rare, but the discovery of the antibody has allowed us to recognize that the spectrum of the disease is actually much broader than we had previously thought. Previously, it was thought that the disease was really restricted to the optic nerves and the spinal cord. And now we are recognizing that children can present with encephalopathies, um, uh, the brain can be involved, uh, and uh, the diversity of symptoms uh, uh, can be much broader. Um, there's been a dramatic advance in uh, also treatment for this condition and we're in a very exciting time and it's important to recognize that even though NMO is a rare orphan disease, there's now three phase three trials uh, up and running in this disease. And the reason for that is that it has been driven by the technology, by the advance, by the discovery of this uh, uh, autoantibody biomarker. Not only that, we really need better treatments because this disease can be quite severe. It can cause blindness, it can cause paraplegia, and it certainly has a more severe phenotype than multiple cirrhosis. The interesting thing about NMO, though, is if we can stop the attacks, if we can stop the attacks of optic neuritis and the attacks of spinal cord inflammation, we can actually stop the disease. We can prevent the development of disability in the future. And this is different to multiple cirrhosis. In multiple cirrhosis, the drug treatments that we have, they reduce the likelihood of having an attack of multiple cirrhosis. But most disability in multiple cirrhosis comes from the progressive phase of the illness. And in NMO, most patients don't have that progressive phase of the illness. So in NMO, if we can stop attacks, we can stop disability.